In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the ArcSpin app for your iOS or Android device to create, edit, and publish a spin. First, get the app from either the Apple App Store or, for Android, from the Google Play Store. Once you've installed the app, open it on your device. I'm going to be using an iPhone for this demonstration. The process for iPad and Android devices is very similar. Next, log into your account. If you don't yet have an account, you can either create one on our website or from inside the app. Enter the capture mode and frame the object in the viewfinder. Press the capture button and then choose the rotation direction. Don't worry if you press the wrong rotation direction because you can fix this later during editing. After capture is finished, the app will return you to your library. It takes just a few seconds for the spin to finish processing and then it's ready for editing and publishing to your account. If you find that capture finishes before the object makes a full rotation and you produce a spin like this, simply adjust the round trip time in the capture settings. Now, I will demonstrate a few of the edits you can make to your spin from within the app. Enter the editor from the detail view using the button in the top right corner. There are several different editing modes that you can access using the buttons along the bottom of the screen. The first mode, which we're in now, lets you adjust the crop window. It's always a good idea to try to frame your spin as well as you can and avoid much cropping. Cropping to a small square reduces spin quality. You can also set the thumbnail and reverse the rotation direction if necessary. The thumbnail image is displayed whenever your spin is loading online. Next, we will go to the Balance Editing mode. Here you can specify a white or black reference point. Setting a white point causes that location to become perfectly white. This is often necessary to create a seamless white background. The Curves Editing mode lets you set the brightness, contrast, and saturation of the spin. These adjustments are also useful for creating a nice white background. You can also set a title and caption for your spin. This is a convenient way to record product information, like product name and SKU number. Finally, you can use the label mode to set 3D labels for your spin. Hold and press a location to create a label, enter some text for that label, and train the label to follow the desired point by correcting it in a few different locations. When you're happy with your spin, save your changes. The app returns you to the spin's detail view. The next step is to publish your spin to your account so that you can embed it in your store or share it with your social networks. For this, press the share button. This will cause the spin to upload to our servers. After that's complete, you can share the published spin immediately from the app, or you can log into your arcspin.com account using a web browser and manage the new spin online. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other videos on our website and learn things like how to use a DSLR camera to create higher quality spins.